I'm tired of waiting, Comad. How big can this dragon of yours be? I'm going in. Yeah, what do you want? This thing with Joggy, I... I don't know. Give me some time and I'll be able to sort this out on my own. Is there something else you wanted? Tatooine is one big desert, with rocks sticking out. I heard that some of my people came here after the war, but I don't know what happened to them. The world of my clan, Ordo, was much like this. Dust basins and rock crags. But my world at least has some green around the equator. This place is just sand all over. There are some vicious people on this world, but the desert is the real enemy. Trips out in the desert, especially the deep desert, should be taken very carefully. Do you have anything else you want to ask? Your choice. ちこんいたはどんがいきんこのバムレラチコンもちゃっぱかっきのおだまパオレラチコンロンドディホトンガくんはんかびわなくんべしちんパラムレ ちこんいたはどんがいきんこのバムレラチコンロンドディホトンガくんはんかびわなくんべしちんパラムレかちこんいたはどんがいきんこのバムレラチコンロンドディホトンガくんはんかび我那昆贝斯请卡奇昆伊达好东噶，伊金库诺巴木勒拉奇昆。罗德迪好东噶，昆汉卡比。我那昆贝斯请巴拉木勒。卡奇昆伊达好东噶，伊金库诺巴木
Pachuta. Wonga kun bistol Pachuta. Wonga kun bistol. Jedo ba doana ni di bobo. Tong na bungsha nunya. Tune podo. Rano no prata dogo shirkasha. Jum na pike. Dieta, what a yuma, wama huhu nandetik, a shatungi patoga, jedo badoana nidi bobo, tong na bungsha nununya. Runda di ho tonga kun honka di, wana kun bez, mucha shat pakat, kiye no no nama paoli. Yes? Yeah. What? Can I help? About my mother? I'm unsure. Do you think I should? I would like to keep something to remember father as much as she would. I'll think about it. I should try and remember my training. I should be able to let go of this, but I can't. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Let's keep going. Anybody else get the feeling that finding this star map in the back of this Crate Dragon's cave is more than just a coincidence? The star map is an artifact of the dark side. The Crate Dragon may have been drawn here by its dark power, only to be enslaved by it. Now that we've got what we came for, we should probably move on. Can't say I'm going to miss this pit of the world. How can I help? About my mother? Do you think I should? That would just lead to another argument. I always despise talking to her. I'll think about it. I should try and remember my training. I should be able to let go of this, but I can't. I don't want to talk about this anymore. What can I do? What? I'm here. I have to give you credit. You've led me on quite a chase. But nobody gets away from Callow Nord in the end. I see you brought some backup, Callow. Realized we were a bit too much to handle on your own, huh? You got lucky on Terrace. The Sith attack saved you from a quick and gruesome death. 
But I promise you, the Sith won't be getting in my way this time. Sorry, I'm not in this for the credits. You're the only ones who've ever gotten away from me. I've got a rep to protect. Let's go, boys. It's showtime. What can I do? will be a very sensitive topic, Master. You will want to be careful with your questions or risk offending him. Not that that is much of a worry. Translation. Translation. He says that the fact that you have to ask, this is just one more example of your ignorance as an outsider, Master. He says you are blind. Translation. His people believe they are part of the land, living with it. You and your kind dare to raise yourself above it. You remove yourself. Translation, that act of removal makes you an outsider, separate from all that is important. You could never understand how unwelcome you are. Translation. Translation. He says that outsiders use machines to convey them and to make their lives easier. This severs a connection with the land. Translation. Connection to the soil must be made through flesh. A sacred animal is the only external tool to be used. Translation. Translation. He says that the robes are sacred, Master, and you would not understand. Sand people are never uncovered outside of the most private moments. Translation. Translation. 
He says that the use of these blasphemous things will only be tolerated because outsider interference has forced it upon them. Translation, if your kind had not come here, he would not have to defend their ways or their land. Translation. Translation. He says that he will not master. There is one storyteller in each clan, and only he may recite the histories. Translation. Translation. He says that you don't understand. They must never be told to someone who might say them incorrectly out of ignorance. Translation. To speak them in error is a blasphemy punishable by death. Only their greatest warriors are even permitted to listen to the tales. Translation. Translation. He won't believe you until he sees a dragon pearl as proof. I should kill him for not taking you at your word, master. Translation. Translation. He is stupefied, Master. He never thought you could return with such an item. Such a thing has not been done in many years. Translation. He will allow you to meet the storyteller, but also gives a warning. If you dare to repeat the histories incorrectly, you will be killed. Translation. The storyteller will be summoned to one of the rooms here in the Enclave. He seems to think this is a great honor for you, Master. Translation. Translation. himself as the storyteller, Master. He has been told of your warrior skills and will speak the history to you. Translation. Translation. There is only one accepted history, passed orally to each successive generation. Translation. A book or data pad can be taken away, cheapening the value of what it contains. To commit it to paper or storage is to remove it from the people. Translation. Translation. You may choose to hear the history or you may choose not to. Their history is a single entity that cannot be partitioned. Translation. The only exception is in continuing the tales once they have begun. If you leave, when you return, he will continue from where he left off. Translation. Translation. It begins with the ancient times. They were not sand people, for there was no sand. The land was green with life, and they walked without wrappings. Translation. Though the land was beautiful, they lived apart from the land. They built their walls high and saw beyond the horizon. They dared to reach the stars. Translation. There are no words for how long ago this was. It was before the outsiders, before the abduction, before the cities fell, before the builders. Translation. Translation. His arrogant people touched the stars, and this sin drew the attention of the builders. The builders did not touch the stars, they lashed them to millstones. Translation. Great demons of metal stripped the world of its riches, until all that was left was the green of the ground. The great cities were lifted away. Translation. Those that had used the wealth were taken along with it. Transgressors abducted to serve past the sky, seeding the stars with penitent, adaptable slaves. Translation. Translation. There came a time when the builders were also judged for their crimes. After generations, a plague weakened them, and the time of the Great War began. Translation. The builders faltered. 
and his people realized why they had been punished so that they understood the crime and would now strike down the greater offender. Translation, they worked chaos in the machines so they destroyed themselves. The builders fought back, laying waste to the green that had been misused with fire from above. Translation, soil became glass, grinding to sand, but the fight was long planned, and his people were safe. Deep in cave homes carved from valley wall, they were free. Translation, <laughs> editing, if I may master, this section of his tale details several millennia of the long walk their nomadic wanderings as they accept their identity in a desert world? Rather than strain my circuits on his dialect, might we just assume there was much fighting over who has the biggest bantha and move on to more recent things? Resignation. Very well, Master. Translation. The tribe spread far, distant from each other, but all the sand people and all cherished the land that remained. The sand would not be misused. Translation, then machines fell from the stars again, outsiders like you that brazenly walked apart from the land. And greater still was the insult to come. Translation, these outsiders reminded them of their past transgression, of the time when they too walked apart from land. The outsiders, your kind, looked like their ancient abducted. Translation, so it is to the current sons that the sand people hate all outsiders and give them no footing. You come again time after time, adaptable slaves to the machine. Editing. The last thousand years are full of conflicts with different groups of attempted planetary settlers, all of whom are poorly described, long dead, and likely untraceable. I believe I have truncated it down to the usable bits and what was already said. I hope it is enough, Master. Translation. Translation. Ready! Yes? What? Hey there. What can I do for you? Look, I'm happy Griff's alive, but I'm mad at him right now. And I don't know what kind of job he's got for you, but I don't trust him. It's probably just another scam. So, is there anything else you need? Okay. Greetings again from the offices of Zerga Corporation. I see that. Well, that is a very big headache that you've removed. I'm sure there are still sand people out there, but they'll be quieter now. I think I'll give you a bonus for this. You've more than lived up to your side of the bargain. Zerka Corporation thanks you. I'm sure. Zerka Corporation thanks you again. Greetings again from the offices of Zerga Corporation. Of course, you've done a good job for us and I'm happy to pay you. Farewell. Ah, just the person I was hoping to see. Hmm. Save it, Griff. I'm not talking to you. I want no part of whatever you're involved in. 
Okay, sis, I see you still mad. Fair enough. I don't think you could help me with this anyway. It's uh, more of a job for your friend here. As you may know, TAC glands can be refined to a very potent powder. It's the primary ingredient in Teresian L. That's what makes it so strong. Of course, now that Taurus is pretty much wiped from the face of the map, Teresian L has become somewhat scarce and uh, very, very valuable. Luckily, I know the secret recipe. I know this guy. He's with the Exchange. Now, if I give him a small sample of Torizian Ale, he says he can synthesize it and reproduce it in mass quantities. Problem is, I need one of those tack glands to make the first batch, and now that Taurus is a smoke and ruin, the only place to find tack is on Kashik. If you can get your hands on one of those tack glands, I'll make it worth your while. Griff, are you blind? Can't you see you're talking to a Jedi? We're out here trying to save the galaxy. We can't waste time on this. Please, you have to help me. I, I, I promised this guy from the exchange a sample of Teresian Ale. If I don't come through for him, he's gonna break my legs. Or worse. Come on, Mission. I, I'm your brother. I'm family. You can't turn your back on me. Forget it, Griff. I'm not falling for that line again. You'll have to find your own way out of this mess. You bring me a single tech land, and you not only save my life, but you get a piece of this great business opportunity. I mean, you can't pass this up. Think about it, and you'll see I'm right. Hey there. What can I do for you? I'm worried about Griff and his latest plan. I got a bad feeling about it. He doesn't know anything about brewing Theresian ale, and now he's got himself mixed up with the exchange. Sometimes Griff can be so stupid. Part of me just wants to let him get what's coming to him. Why not? He turned his back on me. He abandoned me on Terrace, so maybe I should just leave him high and dry now. Maybe a couple broken kneecaps will do him some good. Maybe that's just the kind of jolt he needs to turn his life around. Only, what if they do something worse? They might kill him. I don't want him to die. He doesn't deserve that. But I just can't keep supporting his crazy schemes. Someone has to teach him a lesson. Yeah, I guess you're right. I'm not gonna change him. Griff is gonna keep on being Griff. Maybe if we get these tat clans for him, things will work out. Or maybe he'll finally see the light and turn over a new leaf. I know it's not likely, but it's all I have to hope for. Kukumo no ba mulira chikun. Runda di hotonga kun hanka bi achuta. Sand people wiped out my moisture farm. Back already? Have you even looked for the holocron? I have the holocron, Mother. I'm just not sure I want to give it to you. And why not? Would you deny me even that? I've never denied you anything, Mother. You may think I don't remember what it was like before I left for the Order, but I do. You were the one who pushed Father to go on one treasure hunt after the other. You loved living in wealth. You think I don't remember the fights. You were eager to send me to the Jedi even though I didn't want to go. You took Father away from me. And now this holocron is all I have of him. Fool girl. You have a strange way of remembering things. That wasn't... No. I don't wish to argue with you anymore, Mother. It's time we parted ways now. For both our benefit. You don't know her. My mother is notoriously deceptive when she wants something. Why should she have the holocron? 
Is it too difficult to believe that I am a dying woman who simply wishes to see her husband one last time? I find it difficult to believe anything you say, Mother. You're right. It shames me, but I just I find it difficult to let go of the past. I, I'm sorry, Mother. I was hard on you, dear. I wasn't a very good mother to you. I know that. Your father loved you so. He wanted you to be just like him. He wanted to take you on his hunts, but I said they were too dangerous. I always tried to keep him from the dangerous ones, but he would have none of it. It was a reckless life we led. Always moving. I didn't want that for you. So that's why you gave me to the Order? What do your father and I have to show for all those years of hunting? Nothing. That was no life for anyone. Especially not someone as gifted as you, your father. He spent all his last years trying to pay for my treatments. That's why he went for the pearls. I begged him not to, but... Your treatments? I'm dying, Bastila. I did not lie about that. It's been a long time in the coming, and there's really nothing that can be done anymore. I told your father to let me go, but you know how he was. Stubborn, like you. I'm so sorry, Mother. I don't know what to say. Keep the holocron, Bastille. It would do me good to know you have it. This talking to you. This is what I really needed before I... I know. Thank you. I'm glad we talked to you. Well, now. You said you had important business. And you were never one to mince words. You there. You take care of my daughter, you hear me? That's good. I'll feel a lot better knowing there's someone to watch her. Where are you going to go? It doesn't matter, dear. Don't you worry about me. Here, take these 500 credits. It's all I have. Go to Coruscant and find a doctor. I'll meet you there after after what I have to do. But I already told you, there's nothing that can... Please take it. I want to see you again when we can talk. <sighs> oh, all right, I will. You do what you have to, Bastila. You go make your father and I proud. I'll try. Farewell, Mother. How can I help? Yes. That brought me a lot of peace. More than I thought it would have. Thank you for urging me toward it. After all my training, I would have thought it would have been easier. Apparently, I still have much to learn. Yes. What is it? I... I have been bothered by something of late. I never told you where I came from, did I? Where I grew up as a child? I suppose I was trying to deny what I was feeling. I have been wrestling with my feelings inside, trying to come to terms with it, but I find I cannot. I must have someone to blame. Someone to blame for the destruction of my homeworld. Someone who is responsible for the death of everyone I have ever known except those on Dantooine. Taris. It was Taris that the Sith destroyed to try to kill you and your precious Bastilla. Taris, my homeworld. If it were not for you and Bastilla, the Sith would have never had reason to destroy that world. It was your fault for being there and your fault for rescuing Bastilla. Without your intervention, the Sith would have had no cause to lay waste to my childhood. Just let me vent my anger. I need someone to blame. Something. Anything. I hated that world. Yet everything I learned as a child, I learned there. It is as much a part of me as the air I breathe. I have this ache inside me, where all my childhood memories lay, and I find your face there with them. If it was not for you, that world would still exist. I know. I suppose I realized that. But it is so hard to lose your entire past. You would not understand. I suppose that is to be expected. Everything will turn out for the best, as long as we remain focused on our task. I am sorry. 
I will try not to distract you in the future with my trivial experiences. We should stop for now. How can I help? I do. I've been trying to come up with the best way to say this for some time, but I suppose I should just come out and say it. The truth is, I have come to depend on you. Not just for the sake of the mission, but for my own sake as well. I am... I'm glad you're with us. Well, yes. Surely that's not so surprising. Did I? I am trying to be sincere here. It occurred to me that I may have been too critical of you. Too demanding at times. I know my manner can be a bit taciturn. I know you must be getting sick of my lectures about the dark side and, and everything else. I spent all my years being hounded by my instructors, being told so often how gifted and important I was until I was sick of it. I remember when I was younger, I used to swear that I would never become as self-absorbed and stodgy as the Jedi Masters. It's ironic, really. That's kind of you to say, but I know for myself it's not really true. Being controlled has kept everyone around me at an arm's length. Even those like yourself who are most in need of my understanding and compassion. But maybe it's time to change that. You deserve to know how much I respect and admire you. I thought... I just thought I should tell you. Well, that was not nearly so difficult as I feared. Thank you for hearing me out. I feel... I feel much better. But enough soul-searching for now. We should probably continue on with our mission. How may I be of assistance to you? What is it? I have been thinking much about our journey, and I am grateful and honored that you have accepted me with you. I am not used to such unbiased acceptance from one who is nearly a stranger to me. We Cathar do not make friends easily, or for long. Even on Dantooine I remained alone. Not ostracized exactly, but separate. Yes, it was. I find it difficult to speak of those things. I do not want to live that way ever again. And here, it seems different. It is... it is warming. I feel almost welcome. Needed. You seem to be very decisive when it is required of you. It is reassuring to know that I can count on someone like you. I feel that I could count on any of you, but you, you are the one who drew me back from the dark side. It is to you that I feel a debt, and I shall make it up to you. How may I be a- Terrace was my home for many years. As much as I hated it, it was still home. A rat hole, a warren, a paradise. I suppose you could call it all these things. For me, it was hell. You have no idea what it is like to have to live there for years. To walk down the streets, to have people look at you in disgust, like an animal. Most did not know anything about me, but it was there all the same. Because I was an alien, because I was different from them, frightening. I doubt any of them had even seen my people before. So they persecuted me. They looked down on me and my family, charged us more for food, would not let us walk their streets. I spat on us. You are human. You could not possibly know. That is true, I suppose. But this is much more obvious for someone like me. There were no other Cathar on Terrace. No one to talk to, no one to confide in. <laughs> but you must think me weak for saying this. But I am strong enough to admit it. I thank you for your concern, but uh, maybe I'm weak to think that some stories of my stupid past could possibly interest you. Maybe there is no point. Maybe I am just lost after leaving yet another planet. I apologize for my outburst. I will try to control myself next time. How can I help? 
Then I suggest we move on. How can I help? Tatooine is a dry planet that has not been inhabited long, and has little law. This town of Anchorhead may be its only settlement. Beyond that, there is little else I can tell you. Then I suggest we move on. I don't know who founded Anchorhead the first time, but I know why they left. The Republic is too complacent. If they let Terrace fall... If you must leave, I wouldn't go out at night. Crate hunt at night. The Republic is too complacent. If they let Terrace fall... Yeah, what do you want? This thing with Jagi, is there something else you wanted? Your choice. How may I be of assist- I do not know how to help you with that. I am sorry. How may I be a- What? Of course. How can I help? Am I so transparent? I suppose I shouldn't be surprised, considering our bond. Yes, there is something I would like to ask, if you'll permit it. In our time together, I've been watching you. You are a true servant of the Light. You follow the tenets of the Jedi Order, despite the lure of the Dark Side. And with so little training, for me, it has always been a constant battle. Don't you find it difficult at all? You make it seem so easy. Or is that only an illusion? And that's enough for you. If only it were as easy for me. If only the right path was always clear. I've always struggled for control over my passions. I've always been too quick to anger, too quick to get involved. My instructors constantly berated me for it. I've often dreamed that I might be able to confront Darth Malak myself. I dream I can use all this power I have to kill him and stop all the death and destruction. I just think about all the evil that the Sith have caused and I, I get so furious. Yet we are told that these feelings are the path to the dark side. Yes, of course, you're right. I, I have to remember my training. The Masters know well the corrupting influence of the Dark Side. Although it is hard for me to imagine. The very thought that I could become as evil as Malak, I just can't fathom it. It just doesn't seem possible. I mean, how could I... No. Wait, I'm sorry. I shouldn't even be asking you this. The Jedi teachings are clear. Who am I to question them? And even worse, who am I to try and make you question them? These are dangerous thoughts. The indulgence of a vain mind. Please, forget I ever mentioned this. Let's just return to our mission. Yes, what's on your mind? I, um, uh, I'm not very good at this. I, I know I owe you an apology. Uh, more than one, probably. I was just so desperate to finally face Saul directly in the Battle Over Terrace. And now the Jedi have us looking for these, these star maps. I know this mission is important, it's just, I, I feel a bit useless. I, I mean, I can fight, sure, but I'm no Jedi. All this feels completely out of my league. Because this is more important, this may really finally make a difference. I suppose, even if I can't figure out everything that's going on, I still want to help if I can. I just hate not knowing what's going on and feeling this helpless. I mean, I, but I shouldn't have taken that out on you. 
I've been a royal pain in the backside, haven't I? No, I do worry about it. I've traveled the lanes more than once. I should know better than this. So, I'm sorry. Will you accept my apology? Done. Let's get underway then, shall we, partner? How can I help? I wish I could help you with that. Yes, what's on your mind? I'm not really sure. But you can figure it out on your own, can't you? How may I be... What is it? Of course. Thank you. 